welcome. I'm here at CES 2025 and I've popped by the Nordic Semiconductor Stand to have a look what they're showcasing and to chat with the CEO. So thank you very much for joining us. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us about Nordic as well. Thanks. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'm uh, Vega Volland, CEO of Nordic Semiconductor. I worked my whole life within the semiconductor industry. Uh, a lot of that with Atmel Corporation, which was uh, later acquired by Microchip Technology and then with a couple of smaller semiconductor companies and about a year ago and it actually started here at CS uh, early 2024 uh, I was fortunate and got the uh, opportunity to become the CEO of Nordic which is a great opportunity great company and I'm really happy about it fantastic so you've been CEO for a year now so why don't you tell us what you've done over the last 12 months yeah, so I've uh, been uh, traveling a lot, visiting a lot of customers, visiting a lot of Nordic, excellent Nordic people. And, uh, you know, Nordic is a really great company in the sense that we have very extremely solid, great customer we are innovating with, developing with, great uh, engineers, great uh, employees. And uh, having said that, we also had a situation where all of our R&D was gathered in one and the same team. So one of the major things we have done in 2024 is to restructure uh, our already um, customer-centric organization to become even much more customer-centric. The way we have done that is to create four uh, product-centric business units and, and product teams, uh, which are the short-range uh, business unit, long-range, Wi-Fi and uh, power management uh, IC business units. So with those four units, we have give, uh, in, uh, empowered them with more autonomy uh, and really, really already now start to see the effects of uh, improved engineering execution uh, coming from that. We have also with that created highways in our communication and exchange with our customers in our uh, innovation and new product developments where we have now four uh, four highways so to speak instead of having a smaller road which we had in in in, a, in that analogy in the past so so that's really the, the key thing which we have worked a lot about uh, in in 2024 and uh, and we are starting to see the effects of that the team is very enthusiastic about these changes and and particularly our customers and sales force is, uh, is, is very positive towards what we have done there and that we are starting to see the effects of it. Fantastic. And what are your plans to grow the company in 2025? Uh, yeah, so 2025, we don't talk specifically on a one year target, uh, but we have outlined a ambitious growth plan which we also uh, <coughs> strategized a lot around and developed in 2024. And that, that growth plan is, uh, is about next five, five to six years, where we, where, where we have the ambition to grow the company at least a 20% uh, average growth rate uh, year by year in, in the coming time. And if you compare that to our peers in the industry at the moment, and exclude the generative AI semiconductors, you would see that that's actually fairly up there in the top top uh, part of the ambitions in the industry. That is being backed by us now entering an era of capitalizing on huge uh, technology and R&D investments, which have been done in the in the previous years. We have two 22 nanometer technology platforms. We are now starting to launch products on and we are going to start launch a lot of products now in in which started actually in august last year and is going to continue through 25 and 26. Mm -hmm. fantastic and following on from that you know nordic is is at the forefront of wireless technology um so i'm interested to see what trends in in wireless and iot that you see coming up over the next 12 months wow that's a that's a very broad question and i appreciate that we 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 uh, obviously on top of everything overarching we do see the mega trend of everything's connected all things connected continuing and things connecting wirelessly continuing and I would say also fortunately we are not 
kind of depending on a specific killer app or use case for us to get that about 20% growth in the coming years. There is a lot of adoption uh, still happening, happening every quarter, every year. Uh, but, but overall, it's obviously in the in the all things getting connected in both consumer electronics in the industrial space and industrial IoT space but also in some of our sub-segments sub like in the long-range space we have sharpened our focus now such that we see areas like asset tracking, uh, metering applications which are energy, gas, water meter applications uh, yeah, as well as general cellular IoT applications finally happening and getting a much stronger adoption so so those are those are the markets and end markets and segments we are basing that growth strategy on are there any products or innovations that you've got on show here at ces that you're you know particularly proud of or that you'd like to share with us uh absolutely absolutely we have lots of lots of uh, solid products here and and of course we are extremely proud of the, the, the latest launches like the 9151, NRF 9151 in the, in the long range cellular space, which is the, by far the, 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 the smallest footprint cellular kind of mobile phone product in a coin cell type size uh, product, world leading ultra low power. Uh, and it's, it, it's a complete solution with the application processor as well as, uh, as cellular radio modem in one and the same systems in a package. Uh, so, so that's truly a product we are extremely proud about and we have a lot of traction around at the moment. Also in the recent time now being, uh, being enabled for a non-terrestrial uh, network, so, so NTN satellite communication. Uh, after that, we we have just launched our 54 series products, which is uh, which is which is the next generation and real truly setting the standard for the next generation short range uh, products. Uh, we we do have about a 40% market share in the short range BLE uh, Bluetooth Low Energy market, and uh, if we compare us, uh, compared to our previous or existing products. 54 series is really setting the stage, uh, setting the standards uh, for, for, for the next generation products there with more than two times the processing performance, one third of the energy, energy consumption of, of the previous generation, uh, ultra small packages. Uh, we have multiple families being launched, all completely integrated in a systems on chip solution. Uh, from from the L series, which we just launched, which is a dual CPU system, so it has both an ARM CPU as well as a Risk Five CPU, uh, and uh, and H family, which is a quad CPU system, where you have two ARM processors and two Risk Five processors to to be utilized. So very powerful uh, compute performance and, and we are really excited about the, the traction we are we are getting on the 54 series at the moment. I'm interested to hear how how would you say Nordic differentiates itself with you know its competitors you know it's, it's a highly competitive market so what makes you very you know unique? Yeah great question uh, I think if, if, if there is a couple of key things three four things I would say we are we are ultra low power. That's really in the DNA of the company. So everything we do is uh, is ultra low power. We are in battery powered products, in sensors, consumer electronics, everything, and that's so important there. That's why a lot of people are selecting us. Uh, we are very much so completely integrating with memories. We have. Uh, internal Nordic IP memory products, low leakage design products, total integrated solution products which are making our chip scale packaging which is extremely uh, popular from Nordic, ultra dense and small products. We can we can have a look at uh, the size of one of them uh, afterwards. Um, and then I would say that the last of, 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 uh, of our uniqueness is probably the, the, the the other part of 
the hardware is 50%, the other part is the software and the, to at what the things that makes it a total solution. Software, design kits, uh, support, and, and really the stuff that excites the developer community and, and makes the engineers of our customers uh, execute towards their timelines and, and even beat their timelines and be happy about their development environment. And with the, the I, IoT ecosystem growing quite rapidly, are there any particular industries that you're focusing on this year or, or which industries do you think are, are going to you know, really benefit from, from the IoT? Yeah, so it's a, it's, it's a multitude of areas we are focusing at there. So obviously in the consumer space, the live, which is going to be both in the, in the homes of, of people as well as in offices and in, in the workspace, uh, healthcare, medical solutions, as we see a lot of around, uh, around here at the CES. It's obviously an area we have, we have big expectations for in the coming time. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, also more traditionally, uh, industrial industrial automation type products are become, becoming markets which are uh, finally starting to move move more so in that direction. Mm -hmm. And finally, then, if you could sum it up for us, what would you say is Nordic's overall message here at CES 2025? We have uh, got to the the position now that we are starting to launch products at our new 22 nanometer platforms. We have invested a lot in, in those technologies. Uh, as I mentioned, the 9151 and the 54 series being the first examples of, of these great uh, technologies, results of, of huge investments over many, many, many years. So come, uh, come and have a look at those products. They are really, really great to work with extremely powerful from a processing performance point of view as well as uh, low power. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thank you for taking the time to speak with me and stay tuned on Electronic Specifier to find out more news from Nordic Semiconductor. Thank you. Fantastic. So um, I'm still here at CES 2025 on the Nordic Semiconductor stand and we're just going to have a walkthrough of one of their demos. So can you walk us through this demo and, and tell us you know, what's going on? Of course. So uh, here we're uh, showing off the, our latest product series, the NR54L series. And uh, we're comparing that to our NR52 series, which is uh, the most popular blue low energy SOCs in the market today and has basically taken us to 40% market share. Uh, and then the 54 L series is next level 52 series, basically taking all the things that uh, the developers and engineers love today and making it better. Even lower power consumption, more processing power and improved processing efficiency. And we have created this demo where we compare these things uh, between the 54 L series at the bottom here and 52 series at the top, showing the current consumption. Uh, so we have blue low energy advertising here. And uh, you can see that this is running. And you can see if you look at the average current consumption, uh, the 54 L series is using two thirds of the 52 series. And then we can switch to blue low energy connection. And here it's uh, the devices are connected and sending some data. And if you just give it a, a few seconds, we can uh, look at the uh, average power consumption again and still see that it's about two thirds uh, on, uh, on the 54L series. And then we also know that uh, MCU processing power and uh, efficiency is, is really important. So here, uh, both of these are solving one million quadratic uh, equations. And you can see that 54L series is doing it much quicker than a 52 series and that the average power consumption is much, much lower by doing this. So we actually have twice the processing power on the 54L series and three times the processing efficiency. And uh, with this, you have a great hardware, but uh, we also provide the things that uh, Nordic always provide. Great product uh, reliability and quality, tech support to all, including hardware review and free antenna design uh, review. And um, yeah, this, uh, this product is uh, available now. It's actually in full volume production as well, but we have development kits that can be bought from distributors 
master the jiki and so on. No? Amazing, thank you very much. So this is the Tingi 91X and this is uh, something that we launched uh, very recently where we have the new NRF uh, 9151 chip, we have the 5340 on there, we have the MPM 1300 on there and the NRF 7002 Wi-Fi companion IC on there. So this is packed with uh, Nordic uh, ICs and a lot of different sensors and a battery. And this is something that we're using in this demo where we're showing off different asset tracking technologies. We're showing off uh, single cell uh, locationing using cellular towers, towers with a single single cell tower. Multi-cell, we're using uh, multiple cell towers. You have Wi-Fi locationing, we're using Wi-Fi access point to figure out where you are in the world. And then we also have a GNSS built into this. So in this demo, we have like a lot of these thingy 91 or similar uh, around the world yeah and we have this around the world and then you can using in this demo you can like compare these different technologies because they have different accuracies and different power consumption so you also have always have a trade-off uh, but here you can actually see this live so if we click uh, this one for example Go to that one and then you can like uh, see that this is using single cell and this is the accuracy. And uh, then you can see that it's actually here if it's using GS GNSS uh, or GPS to locate this, uh, this product. So, yeah.